Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. I'm Bobo the Vulture. And we're playing some movie adventure, Sioblade for the Mega Drive. Savings I like how those uh, three colored lines um, beneath Sioblade uh, translate out into for the... <laughs> All right, so we're ready to move so on we just, down. Yeah, so we've... Been, oh, we could go into the shuttle. Oh, man. Oh, we got to do that, then. There's an ops room, too. Oh, yeah, we got to check out all this stuff. I haven't gotten the signal yet, so I'll check out the shuttle. Check out. Hmm, this is the cockpit of the shuttle. That's the... Uh, that is a manipulator controller. Oh, that's right. This is a work vessel. It's a working, it's not a working a vessel. Play vessel. That's the pilot seat. You can control everything from it, except for the manipulator, whatever thingy. Those are manipulators. I should be able to move them using the controller. Pinch, pinch. Oh man, he's doing it! Look, they're moving. This thing's pretty cool. All the gauges and switches for controlling the shuttle are situated here. The plate turn switch. There's one on the outside too. I wonder if you could turn the shuttle around with it. I'd better not miss with that. It might make a lot of noise. What, did you just find the horn? <laughs> it's the ignition switch. It looks to be synchronized with the deck panel. Is this thing live? Sure looks like it. If I turn it on, Robert might be able to feel the vibrations, and I'd rather not get in trouble. I'd better leave it be. All right, let's go ahead and move back to the escape hangar then. Okay then, I haven't gotten the signal yet, but I'll head back to the cockpit. No, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not going back well, to the I mean, cockpit. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna move to the ops room now. I'll go check out the ops room. Huh? It's locked. Oh man. Sophia may already be in the cockpit, so I'll go back there. Who are you talking to? Oh, hey, Sophia. <laughs> He's talking to the people of YouTube. Mm. Thanks for waiting, Keith. Let's get going. Thanks for waiting, Keith. Let's get going. Okay. I'm trying to. Keith, Sophia's here. Yep. Ah, uh, Keith. I was just about to signal you. Start making your way to the storehouse. Now, Keith. You're going to be alone with her, so no fooling around. Sophia, keep an eye on him. If he makes a move on you, you let Uncle Michael know. <laughs> oh, Michael, Keith wouldn't dream of doing such a thing. Isn't that right, Keith? <laughs> uh, n n no, of course not. You can trust me. Michael, stop winding the boy up and get back to work. Well, Keith... I'll leave it to you. Roger. Thanks for waiting, Keith. Let's get going. Well, we're trying to. All right, maybe we have to go to the airlock, but let's go ahead and scroll over here and talk to the doc real quick. He looks so sad and lonely. He's a little bit sad and lonely since his baby's gone away. Sophie is here. Sure took her long enough. Apparently this guy is Dr. Bitchfest. He's the one that called Dr. Bitchfest. He's the one that makes you feel really shitty. Whoops. <laughs> Just keep scrolling. <laughs> scrolling on down the river. All right. That's, uh, it's basically everyone else. The nice thing is that everyone else there is just seeing him shake his head slowly. <laughs> Sophia, take it slow and follow me. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Space dance party. <laughs> Oh man, that was a really easy cutscene. <laughs> Shoot to me, well. It was a pretty well timed one though. Can I get my lights back to normal? Apparently not. <laughs> oh well. And this is the storehouse of the Septimus Dew. I wonder where the repair part is. Alright, let's uh see if we can try something here. Okay, we can't. We can't <laughs> you gonna try and move to that can? Whoa, there's a ton of parts. I can't tell one apart from another. <laughs> oh, 
wow, he really should have paid better attention in health class. Well, you can't tell them apart with just a glance. You'll have to examine beach type. I wonder if that was actually talking to her or if that's looking at the wall. No, that's talking to her. Okay. There's a pipe here. Haha, <laughs> Nani's here and he he's curious what handsome bastard may have pressed that button. I have a feeling he actually knows. <laughs> this is the storehouse of the Septimus. It holds small spare consumable goods. There are circuit boards inside. It's filled with everyday items. Can I get some? It's well, I mean, everyday you're out here on a date with the. Uh... Looks like a rack of hazardous materials. It's filled with explosives. Oh, that looks like all of them are. There are a bunch of circuit boards in here. What do we got over oh, here? This smell. Herbal medicines. Everyday items. You got anything to say? Oh, we can ask about parts and status. Status. Sophia, did you find it? I'm still sorting through all the parts. Tell me about your parts. Say, you think all the spare parts in the ship are stored here? No way! That would cause delay and make impo it impossible to do repairs. I found it! Here it is! Hey, look! There's an item. Okay! Let's take it back with us to the cockpit, Sophia. Come on, let's hurry back. Everyone's waiting on us. Alright, now. Red Adventure. Bleed. Oh, hey, can we try to go to the engine room? What are you doing, Keith? Let's go! Uh, right. What about the medical room? We need to play doctor. She doesn't want to play doctor with us today. That's right, you to ma'am. The missing piece is Game Boy cart. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it was Metal Walker. Okay, Sophia. Ready to head back? Yes. <laughs> and it's the exact same view. <laughs> they just push Ready off the thing back the and hope, to end. <laughs> hope everything ends up okay. I guess apparently uh, the universe is uh, circular because uh, they just came all the way back down. Eek, what's going on? Calm down, we can't get swept away in such a high speed. Rev your Werner thrusters. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rev them up. We're at the ship's exterior. Good, we've stopped. K Keith, look. Oh, it's for adults only. It says it right there. <laughs> True. <laughs> huh? What is it? Oh, we're being dragged towards the tear. Sophia, look at that. There's something inside the tear. I think it's something called Red it's Doom. It's a nuke. <laughs> hmm. What could it be now? It says Sigma Project. Sophia, do we have any data on that? It doesn't say that. It says Project for Adult Only. <laughs> <laughs> Why, no. I've never heard of it. And I didn't see any files on it. Hmm. So, something's up with the ship after all. Come in, cockpit! Robert, do you read me? Damn, the magnetic force is too strong. My transmissions won't go through. These spacesuits can only take so much magnetic force, so we're pushing our luck. Come on, Sophia. Let's go back to the cockpit and make a report. True. This, this stuff is, if it's Sigma, it could be from the Dragur Empire. Hey, we made it back, and everyone's sort of creepily looking <laughs> from behind. Crumbling up right here. What if we scroll? Is anyone on this side? No, they've given up on that side of the building. <laughs> it's really cold over there. They're huddling for warmth. Yeah, I want to talk to the doctor first here with his creepy face. Good job, kid. High five. I want to give us a little chin jet for it. Thanks for your help. Are you okay? Something horrible happened. On our way back, we suddenly got pulled towards the tear in the ship. I sent a transmission to the cockpit, but no one answered. Oh, that was my fault. It happened because I had used the attitude controls initials, uh, initials to divert energy from the main engine to generator. 
for the effigy motor. This tear is causing all kinds of problems with the ship. Yeah, I wonder yeah, why that. I wonder why the hell the emergency lights went out. Sorry about that. We sent a transmission too, but it didn't go through. There was a response to the signal, though. So we thought you were safe. Anyway, I'm glad you're not injured. That sure was scary, wasn't it, Keith? Sorry for scaring the hell out of you. That's just, you know, my stuff that I get to show. My scary, scary stuff. The music for this cockpit is very... Interesting. I'm gonna have to check it out. Do 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 do. That's the that's the song that it is. Yeah. Oh, he's thinking it's from Carmen. Yeah. Oh, Prangal da Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. I'm gonna turn the desktop sound up a little bit because I think we are talking over this music quite a bit. Give a little bit more music to the folks at home. All right, back to here. Ooh. All right. Michael, what do you got to say? Thanks for the help. I'm glad you made it back in one piece. You didn't make a move on her, did you? Uh, Michael, you know I did, but she never notices. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Any luck? Hey, don't rush me, pal. All right, well, let's go ahead and move to the compo room. Oh, we're not allowed to. Hold it, Keith. I'm calling a meeting after the cockpit's fist fixed. <laughs> Stay on standby till then. Yes, sir. Any chance we can use our item? Oh, maybe. Hey, Keith. Should we tell them what we saw? Yeah, we should. Well, now they've uh, had a... Uh, there doesn't seem to be a... An item menu to be able to, like, plug in the Game Boy cart. Yeah. Nothing's bringing it up. All right, let's tell him what we saw. Oh, is that the repair part? Michael, go ahead and change it out. It's about time. Leave it to me. Let's patch this ship. Let's patch up this ship so we can go the hell home. Robert, have you heard of the Sigma Project? No, I haven't. There's no mention of it in the ship's records. As far as I know... Why do you ask? I knew it! Robert, there's a device inside the tear in the ship. Sophie and I don't know what it is. A device? And it's tied to this Sigma project? Oh, there's definitely something strange about this ship. Still, that sounds like it's for adults only. Our priority is rescuing the crew of the Septimus. We'll deal with the device when we return to Earth. That's the reason our protagonist character was not allowed to go back there. What do you think it could be? I've racked my brain, but I've never heard of the Sigma Project, even back on Earth. So I've got to say about that. He knows about antiques. Have you heard of the Sigma Project? Never heard of it. Well, I guess not. Have you heard of the Sigma Project? No, I'm afraid not. Have you heard of the Sigma? What can you tell me about Sigma? Didn't it have something to do with aliens? Aliens. Seriously? How's the repair coming? <laughs> Give me three minutes, kid, and I'll light this place up like a Christmas tree. I'd, I hope it's one of the new, more modern Christmas trees where they use all white lights instead of the colorful ones. Oh, you got a uh, you got a strong preference in the matter. Well, I just want to be able to see see in, in the cockpit without having to like deal with technically flashes and stuff. Ooh. Oh, this is you. Hold your horse. I ain't exactly changing a light bulb. <laughs> How many minutes does it take to change a light bulb? Less than three. I love all this free time. It's so quiet, <laughs> except for the music. Oh, so you're slacking off, huh? 
Uh oh, you got me. <laughs> That's why he came to space, to procrastinate as far away from Earth as possible. We'll be okay if we can get the cockpit fully functional again. I think we only need a bit more time to analyze the tear in the ship. Then we can focus our efforts on fixing Raccoon. He'll be back up again as soon as he's able. Yeah. He'll be able to run the rockets. Once we fix the, fix the cockpit, Bob will get started on the real work. Next obstacle we have to deal with is the bulkhead. Think you could open it when the repair is done? Sounds like a plan. So they named oh, one of the characters indeed. Robert and one of them Bob. Sure. We're going to find out that one of the, uh, that, that there's a character on the raccoon that's named Mike. <laughs> Mike and Michael. <laughs> Mr. Mike's Magic Touch. Sorry for the wait. Sorry oh, for the you. wait. And now prepare to marvel at Mr. Mike's Magic Touch. Abracadabra. Just get on with it. Oh, listen to the Let's Get On With It adventure. Okay, here it goes. Uh-oh. Everyone make excited faces. Eek! What's that noise? What the hell? I know I didn't botch the repair. This ain't my fault. Understood. Where's the alert coming from? Hmm? Next door. Here room. Oh no! Mark and Feminine are there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... 90% translation. <laughs> right, let's get to the computer room. On the double. Well, shouldn't we take half the time as normal? Oh no, feminine! <laughs> Wait, she she got a name, didn't she? She did. It said feminine and then a last name. <laughs> feminine, are you okay? Uh, answer me, doctor. Yeah, I'll handle it. Never thought I'd be treating one of my own crew members though. <laughs> Quit interrupting me in the middle of this medical exam. Oh. No, don't just yell. Feminine! Wake up! Feminine! It's me! <laughs> feminine! Feminine! Calm down. She just fainted. <laughs> she also has a high fever. She thinks her name is Feminine. Wake up, Feminine. What on earth happened? Oh, she's the she's Batman. Yeah, she's having a cocaine party. <laughs> Keith, what should we do? I'm asking the least senior member of the team. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let the doctor handle it. Oh, what should we do? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll handle it. Robert. Who the hell did this? How should I know? Damn, if it's it's one thing after the other on this ship. Where's that blue-haired guy? Sh shit! God damn it! Who the hell did this? Now you know why it's a mature uh, stream. Adults only in this part of the ship too. And this is Sigma Project. Looks like she's bleeding. Something managed to tear through her Kevlar cloak. Whatever did this had superhuman strength. Hmm. Her injuries don't appear to be life-threatening. Robert, I'd like you to take her to the cassowary's treatment room. That okay? <laughs> no. That's fine. But can you wait until we've assessed the situation? Especially his abs. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bleeding stopped, but I'll need to examine her further before I can safely move her. She'll be fine. Go ahead and issue your orders. Be sure to give her extra complicated orders. Yeah. Robert, what should we do? We must remain calm. Like you said, something fishy's going on with this ship. One rash move and we might have casualties on our hands. Technically, they're called casualties even when they're just hurt. Yeah, so feminine is already a casualty. I thought he was going to issue some orders. Anyway. Holy shit! What the hell was in here? I like this guy's pose. <laughs> yeah, he's like just like leaning in for the portrait. Hey, Keith, check this out. <laughs> and then he poses even <laughs> it's more. Pretty, it's a pretty sweet pose. 
Whoa, I don't believe it. The bulkhead was destroyed, but how? Looked like somebody forced it open. Whatever did it ain't you. Hmm, <laughs> her injuries don't appear to be life threatening. But, uh, that's, that's no reason to just skip past all my dialogue. Well, uh, you already said it! it hey, quit <laughs> shouting. You're not talking to feminine. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Keith. She's fainted. Who could have done this? Maybe if I yell at her more, she'll wake up. Robert! The bulkhead's been destroyed! It's two feet that way. I don't know how you didn't notice. <laughs> also, you were two feet from the conversation we just had where we talked about the bulkhead being destroyed. You're basically just playing telephone here. I can see that. First clothes, and now a bulkhead. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a safe bet that the assailant has superhuman strength. Yep. Only some superhuman could tear clothing. Oh, jeez. I mean, if it's Kevlar, sure, but... You scared? Keith! <laughs> yeah, little... Pretty, Pretty exciting, exciting, huh? I'm all pumped up. He's shit. Ma Max pumped. Fuck. What the fuck shit is going on? Damn. <laughs> it's pumped up. Bulkhead. All right, probably have to talk to the doctor again by now. What should we do, Robert? Well, Mark is nowhere to be found. Oh, no. Did he go after whoever did this? It looks that way. The dumbass just had to satisfy his curiosity. Right now, we don't even know what the assailant looks like. Anyway. Michael, escort the doctor and feminine and... But, 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 so for but let's go look for Mark. I yeah, had no option of slowing that down. Sanctuary. Roger. 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 I don't think Mark or the assailant are in here, Robert. Agreed. What about the other bulkheads? It looks like we can access living rooms 1 and 2, but the bulkhead to the experiment room is non-functional. I see. Okay, we'll split up into groups. Keith, Sophia, you start with living room 1. Bob and I will take living room 2. Use your guns only if necessary. Right now, all we're doing is looking. Retreat if you feel you're in danger or the bulkhead won't open. Also, uh, try not to put any moves on her while you're out there. Now we'll Bob back. is gonna find uh, Bob is gonna find that every situation it's necessary to use his guns. <laughs> <laughs> you know how he loves the pose. Check we'll this out. <laughs> we'll meet back here in ten minutes. Synchronize your watches. It's the future, but it's, the watches still aren't that good. We have to resync them before we do anything. Good luck. Well, I mean, they're out in space. They don't have a repeating signal from a satellite. I guess. There doesn't seem to be anyone in here. Yeah, and it's a little creepy. Uh, do you want to hold me close? Tiny dancing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I clicked on her butt. Oh, my yeah. God! W -w -w what the hell? Oh, my God! Oh, no, what is it? Look at that ass. Oh my god. Oh jeez. It's much worse than that. Eek, no. Oh, oh my god. We're remaining calm and then you're going to remain calm too. Just 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 remain calm, damn it. I I can't believe this. Yeah, he's just hanging around. K Keith what on earth is going on with this ship? Please, tell me. I, I can't take any more. Well, okay, I was going to keep it a secret, but now I'll tell you what's going on with this ship. <laughs> I've known the whole time. It, it's all right, Sophia. Just try to remain calm, okay? I've, I've said that like eight times. S slow it down now. Oh, man. Oh, he was not hanging around at all. No, he's yeah, wearing the he... ship like a hat. He just got speared through the ceiling. Oh my!
what? Oh man, this text is so long it has to break into the next thing. He died a violent death, but what would be strong enough to break through a titanium ceiling? His head, apparently. Yeah, someone tried to fit a man peg into a round hole. Oh, what's Sophia to say? I, I, I can't. I, I have no idea what to say to Sophia, but I can talk out loud about how I don't know what to say. Ah, but what? Ugh, to break. <laughs> Healing! This is Living Room 1. It's living quarters for peopling on board the ship. Alright, what else do we got here? Oh man, I'm getting a little input lag for some reason. It's just too, too intense. Living Room 1. Living Room 1. Everything seems to be living, living Room 1. I can't have no idea what it is with you. No, that is not living room one. That is formerly living person. Huh? There's something under his nails. What is that? Oh. Could it be skin maybe? Or rubber? Let's take it back and have the doctor check it out. Check, check it out. Hey, let's be back up with the others. It's been like 10 minutes. Here I'll be on. <laughs> right. Let's head back to the waiting room. Moving adventure, side bleed. And now, is it a moving adventure just because we have the option to move from room to room, or is it going to be like a very touching story? Well, I mean, I'm already a little touched. <laughs> There's no one here. Maybe it hasn't been 10 minutes yet. It's just everything went to slow motion. We'd better tell Robert what we found. And quick! That's a holograph system. It can display sceneries from Earth and run games like tennis. It can't run actual tennis, but it can run games similar to it. It can run badminton, ping pong, you know, uh, uh, uh pong. <laughs> Big 3D air version hockey. Of pong. Oh, air hockey. That sounds like it could be fun. Oh, that'll be good. A bit get, of our, puck cafe. get our intense intensity up by all yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's build up some heat. Yeah. It's located in a large room in the middle of the block. Which crew <laughs> uses to relax. We'd better hurry. Oh, she looks at us when she says it too. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and move. Let's go to living room two. Oh hey! More, more bones. Robert, we've got bad news. Mark is. Oh, you found Mark? Yeah, he's in the living room one, but uh, we were too late. Oh my god. What the hell happened to him? So, one of our crew is now among the casualties. I see. Good job finding him. Mustn't have been hard when he wasn't moving. Thumbs up. Let's check out these bones. This skeleton's name tag reads Cannon. It says he was the captain too, and that it was all official. Yeah, at least in this universe. It's one of the crew members. His name tag reads La Munio. Could be. Could he have been shot through the heart and we're too late? With a ray gun? Yeah, I mean, it's possible, and then he sort of sat here and, like, rotted for a long time, apparently. Yep. Whose corpses are these? You just found out. Lumuno and Cannon. The crew of the Septimus. What are they doing here? That's a good this is question. The Septimus. <laughs> Do you know what, though? This is the Septimus 2. I'm really curious where the Septimus Prime is. Uh. <laughs> Did you happen to find any clues as to what happened? None at all. By the way, I'm taking a knee again, did you notice? <laughs> this is my good side. Sophia! It's okay, I'm fine. What? I That's... used to see it dead. That's bad, you shouldn't be fine. <laughs> this, this room looks identical to the other one. They're both caked in death. I feel at home here. <laughs> Any trace of our assailant? 
I'm afraid not. We haven't found anywhere a human could hide. Oh man, maybe the creature could regenerate from gas. And drop of water or gas. Find any clues? The medic room is on the next block, but the bulkhead's still shut tight. The only way out of this room is through the garbage chute, which collects debris to be jettisoned into space. Chute only goes one way, so if the assailant went into it, he's either stuck inside or floating in outer space. I think it's safe to say that he didn't use the chute. It's kind of like alien, isn't it? I am to blame. Sorry, sorry about the bad references earlier. Alien? What's that? A movie from the 20th century. It's about a crew of a spaceship who were picked off one by one by an unknown life form. Th that's enough, Bob. Oh, what about Bob was a different movie from the late 20th century. <laughs> oh, but the female crew member survives. And a little kitty. Bob, you're hitting too close to home. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try to watch what I say. I'd like to watch what he says too, it's a pretty good movie. So Mark is dead, huh? I can't believe it either, but he was shoved through the ceiling. A human couldn't have done that. Did you find anything, Keith? Keep looking. What? Am I looking for clues now? This is the living room too. Uh, Mr. Lamudo isn't carrying anything. <clears throat> hey, what's this? The these are sweet jams. If I hadn't searched the captain further, I wouldn't have found the discs, and we'd be stuck in this room forever. Keith, try showing those to Robert. Somehow he didn't see you taking them off the dead body. We've got two theories so far: Shoot to Mame's calling suicide, and uh, Nani is phallic gargoyles. How oh, gargoyles? How? Oh. Robert, I found these. They're toasted. Laser floppy disks? Those sound made up. <laughs> BNP? Hull structure? What the hell are these disks doing here? Let's ask him about BNP. What exactly is BNP? Oh, you Oof. know me. We won't know until we analyze the discs. That's why I saw what the, what the hell are these? What's this uh, hull structure disc? I'm guessing it contains blueprints of the ship. Do you know about the Hull structure is a popular band from the late 20th century. Uh, comfortable here. What exactly is BNP? Hmm. I swear I heard of it before. Well... Well, what? Never mind. Do we have any data on something called BNP? No, not that I know of, but I've heard it's for adults only. Wait, did you ask her or Bob about the whole structure? Uh, I haven't asked Bob because I was kind of wanting to make sure I left one by itself before it might trigger something. Ah. Check this out. Let's go back to the computer room and load it into the super subcomputer. Alright. What's this whole structure disk? Sophia might know more about it. Oh, there you go. So I did it in the wrong order. Sophia? It's okay, I'm fine. Alright, let's move to the waiting room. What the hell, Keith? Where are you going? Oh, um, nowhere. I'm just trying to go put this thing in the computer. Some, something's wrong here. Did the captain commit suicide? He I've, shoot the main. That was what he called it. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard such a theory. It looks like he was forced to shoot Lamuno. There was a ray gun next to him. Really, a ray gun? That's so retro futuristic. Yeah. Pew pew pew. It's out of energy, and I've taken possession of it. But back to the captain's death. I thought he committed suicide too. But he doesn't have any gunshot wounds. And his bones are scattered around, so his death must have been painful. Well, either that or there are raccoons in the ship. What if the thing that killed Mark also killed the captain? It's possible. Good thinking, Keith. 
But why would the captain kill Lemuno? What should we do? Let's return to the computer room now. There, we can analyze the disks and determine the best course of action. Are you alright? Robert! You don't look so good. Frankly, I'm exhausted. This situation brings up a lot of unpleasant emotions. Let's go. Alright, now that everybody's here, I'm declaring a state of emergency. It wasn't a state of emergency before y'all got here, though. <laughs> We've already failed to complete our task on schedule. And what's more, we're currently mired in a situation. A situation that could cost us our lives. Mm. Mark is dead. <laughs> and feminine is injured. That said, I don't want to turn tail and run. We flee now, Mark and the crew of the Sutton Missile have died for nothing. So let's party! I want to uncover the secrets on this ship, no matter what it takes. In my opinion, that's the best way to honor Mark and the other casualties. However, this mission will be extremely risky, especially for Sophia and Keith, who are both quite young. What do you two think about this? I don't have a problem with it, but I can't speak for Sophia. Thank you for your concern, but I'll stay. After all, I have to figure out what's wrong with the raccoon. Sophia! I see. Well, keep in mind that this isn't some romantic comedy. It's actually a romantic dramedy. So uh, keep that in mind. I trust. Actually, it's a moving adventure. <laughs> it's a romantic moving adventure. Uh, a roving adventure, as they're known in Hollywood. <laughs> By Scooby Doo. <laughs> I trust no one else wants to back out. If the young lady's gonna stay, we man can't run away, right, Sophia? Now he's like a he's like a poet and he doesn't know it. Oh, Michael, I've always liked you more than Keith. Well, I mean, who doesn't? I'm out of here. I mean, no objections from me. Same here. If we're just going to retreat like a dog with its tail between its legs, then why'd we come here to begin with? But Robert, ain't you got a wife back home? What about her? We have more pressing things to worry about, you fool! I'm sorry. I thank you all for agreeing to stay. First, we need to anal analyze the discs we found and explore level four. Michael, I'd like you to look over the discs quickly. Then, escort the doctor and feminine to the treatment room on the cassowary. It would be a big help. That's all for now. Stage? They still haven't gone to the cassowary? Weren't they supposed to do that when we left? We've been gone at least ten minutes. Hmm. She's still out cold, but she seems to be doing better. Maybe if I yell at her more. The doctor's the one taking a knee this time. How's feminine holding up? She's at a critical condition. After we're done messing with the discs, I'll run her to the treatment room. <laughs> Just throw on her back. <laughs> this really sucks, huh? Try to stay positive, though. We're in it for the long haul. We ain't even found the assailant yet. Hmm. Butts. Keep your head on straight, Keith. Quit looking at my ass. <laughs> Just chill out and wait for Sophia's report. Try asking Sophia for a status update. Hint, hint. Look at the screen instead. Oh, the task on the display is currently suspended. Oh. Well, did you find out anything? Yes, I have. First and foremost, emergency mode has been disengaged. Oh, so the repair was done correctly then. Sometimes I even amaze myself. You did a great job, Michael. Now, everyone, take a look at the sub-display. First, I can't ac access the BNP disk. The files are all password protected. So if anyone's down with BNP, let, let me know. And the computer keeps referring to a master. Oh, man, maybe the doctor's going to show up. Only the m master may access classified files. Logging in as Captain or Lemuno doesn't work either. Why? Can't you get the right numbers and letters? Has to do with how the password is formatted. 
Statistically, I could try guessing at it for 10 years and still get it wrong. And if I enter it incorrectly too many times, the computer's anti-hacking system might activate and destroy the disk. So, oh man, it's an iPhone. This disk is useless. <laughs> what about the whole structure disk? It was much easier to access, so I wasn't too concerned with it. Michael, look at this. That you point to her. Ah! Sophia, is that? Yes. Some kind of dreadful bio monster. <laughs> it's where the tear is. However, I wasn't able to retrieve any additional data. There it is. That's what we saw the strange device. That, that's where we saw the strange device that said Sigma Project on it. If we can wake up Raccoon, we might be able to learn more about the device. We don't exactly have time to poke around outside the ship. Hmm. Well, let's call it a video for YouTube there. I'm Zerfall. I'm Bobo the Vulture. And next time, uh, it's, it's getting pretty intense here. Yeah. Well, we got to find out what Project Sigma is. And is it really, truly for adults only? Mm. <laughs> Apparently my lights decided that they weren't. Oh no, I forgot to stop recording. <laughs>